what's up? What are we having for lunch? I don't know. You don't know? What do you mean by you don't know? We've asked Nene. She's in the right position to answer that question. Are you serious right now? Maybe you barely have time to do anything during the week. And now that you're home for the weekend, instead of you to make up for that time, you're telling me to go ask Nene. Meaning what? Babe, what now? Do you want to kill me? What's happening? I'm stressed out. Like you rightly said, I'm always busy throughout the week. Now that I have time, please don't kill me with house chores. Oh, 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 oh. So taking care of your own home is now chores, Abby? Juliet, it's now chores. Why are you reading me to what I just said? You understand me now? Look, I don't understand anything you're saying. Please, I am hungry. Go into that kitchen and prepare my food. Why are you such commanding tone? Why would you say that to me? You know it won't work, right? It won't work. Uh -uh. I'm very, very intentional with my health. If I die now or, or, or faint, you just go and marry one woman like that tomorrow. It doesn't even take you a year. Please don't disturb me, I beg. Can you hear yourself? Babe, now stop disturbing me. Ah, I'm sleeping. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I didn't really like it. Please just quickly get dressed and meet me downstairs, yeah? Is there anything in the house to eat? I'm really hungry. Um, I cooked fried rice. Oh, you did? Yes. Oh, thank God. Please, can I get some? Okay. And please, is there fruit juice? Mm, no, but I have salad. Oh, thank God. Just go, you have too much sense. Please, bring it for me, yeah? Okay. Thank you. <laughs> we are just very funny. I know, right? <laughs> yeah. What you doing? Mm -hmm. Come here. Hey, what is it now? Hey, you drop the call now. You can always call the person back. Hey, wait. Um, Pri, I'll call you back. Jesus Christ. Juliet, can you not do this right now? I'm tired. What is weekend now, babe? But that doesn't mean it has to be on a marathon. Babe, please. babe, please, please. I need you right now, babe. We're well, going to take a fresh bath. I'm sure you'll be fine. Babe, are you, are you kidding me right now? You stop this thing now, babe. Yeah? I need... We can't have a relaxation. If I should go on a marathon set with you right now, Monday is around the corner. Baby, is there anything that you don't complain about? Everything is hard for you to do. Just, be, just see, please now. Just this moment. You see that because you refuse to be an understanding husband. Just, you know, just, just let me be. I'm tired. Please. Babe, are you serious right now? I'm serious. Babe, please now. Hmm? I said I'm tired. Guy, what's up now? You look so robust. <laughs> What's up with your freshness, man? Well, I'm good food, though. <laughs> you know that my wife's cousin now? Yeah? Yeah? My guy, she's been one cooking. And that girl, Sabi, cook. Die. Hi! Mm -mm, she can't cook. You're not serious, are you? You, play, you know me now. I already play food. Anyway, food day. I did, day. Yeah. Uh, the girl knows how to cook. She'll be very helpful. No wonder you no longer complain about your wife's constant negligence. Oh, eh? bro, see, uh, to be honest, at this point, I don't even care. I don't care what Julia does. If she likes, let her cook. If she likes, let her not cook. It's none of my business. As long as Neye is cooking my meals, 
I'm Gucci. So let no concern me. I be. just hope say one day you know go chop nene join that food where she dey cook. But this is here one day nene get chop it. I dey few now. Okay, you calm down. Relax. I do do like this now. I, I was just you. joking, man. I wasn't serious. I know you're not gonna do such thing. Yeah, you suppose know me now. I mean, it's been a while that Juliet has let me touch her, but still, oh, that's my wife's sister now. I know, just relax. See, but let me tell you, eh, see, this is a freshness of it, you know. It calls for further investigation, my brother. We still need to investigate to find out the real mm -hmm. cause of this freshness. I go marry now so that your wife can bring her sister and she can be cooking for you. Oh, so indirectly, you're not telling me that you're the chopper. You know, bad boy. I don't have to suspect you. Ah, okay, how work now? Man. I feel so relief now that Nene is in the house. Oh, your cousin sister is here? Yeah, she's here. I mean, now I can go on sabbatical leave from house chores. The way you complain about this house chores, eh? <laughs> I don't need stress. Do you know that my husband prefers freshly made meals on a regular? Juliet, sometimes I begin to wonder. You complain a lot about your chores. What will you now do when you start having kids? Oh, I thank God my mom's still alive. I'm very young. I mean, weekends, endless weekends, as my mom's place. Isn't it a bad idea? <laughs> <laughs> I pity your husband, I swear. You should pity me too. I mean, you're just so lucky to have me. Lucky to have you? Myself. So, how are you doing? I'm fine. How are things? How is your bobo? <laughs> feel better? Yes, thank you so much. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Um, May? Please excuse me, because my husband. Okay? Oh, yeah, thank you. Eh? You're welcome. Thank you very much. Uh. Hey, honey. Hey, baby. How What's up? Oh, I'm good. I'm good. Um... They need some assistance from us. Okay. What sort of assistance? So her hostel rent is due. And her mom says she doesn't have money to renew. Hmm. Okay, how so, much are we looking at here? Yeah. About 350k. Okay. okay. So I was wondering if you could assist me with at least 100k. Oh, no, no, baby. Come on. Don't worry, I'll take care of it, okay? You will? Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. Mm. You see, this is the reason I love you. <laughs> I love you too. Come here. Mm. Give me another one. <laughs> You're welcome, baby. Please, did you make anything for breakfast? Mm, mm, but what would you like to eat? Anything is fine. 
Okay, I'm really hungry. Okay, I'll make um, plantain and egg sauce. Alright, right, spend it. Okay. You mean your cousin will be leaving with you fully now? I know this decision of yours is because of the assistance she's rendered to you, right? But at least it's better than getting a maid. Better than getting a maid? Yes. This is your laziness and your nonchalant attitude towards your home. I pray you don't cry at the end. Cry? How would you even say that? As a grown-up woman, you're bringing to your home. <sighs> If it were to be your blood sister, trust me, I won't even say a word. But it is not. Pray, please, just, just, just slow down. Is my cousin not my blood sister? Yes, yeah, she is, but not to be compared. When is your own real younger sister? Think about it. <sighs> no, it, I just want her to help me. Nothing else. Juliet, do not say I didn't say this. Do not say I didn't warn you. I would have preferred you get a maid. At least you'll be able to build boundaries. Maid? Do you want them to poison me? Do you want me to collect my husband? Collect which husband? They will snatch my husband. I beg you, look at your drive, they go house. I pity you. Why are you taking it so personal? I pity you. <laughs> just mark my words. Please, please. <laughs> How can you just allow your grown up sister to come to live with you people? It's fine. I understand that. I'm going to make her no lie I'm going to miss that girl. Because at this point now, she leaves now, no more cooking. Honestly, if she wasn't in school, I'd have just told her she was moving with us. <laughs> See, eh? the way you talk about this girl, eh? If not that she's a teenage girl, I would have gone after her heart straight eh? up. Uh-huh. Eh? <laughs> you, play. you think girls like Naya will be single? That girl is too good now. You know how hard it is to find good girls these days. No, no. But come to think of it, she's in the university, right? Which makes her a young adult, yeah. right? I'm so saying, that means I can actually, you know, now. Hey, come on, come on, which kind of dirty talk now? If I see any man like that, I'll shoot your leg. You shoot my leg. I will blast and come on. Okay, calm down. <laughs> see, look, I tell you, eh? See, it go chop you when you go actually find out, say, that girl already get boyfriend. No. Mm. I know that girl. That girl is too focused on her studies. She doesn't have time to invest now with the university boys. I think it's not like that. Hmm. So what you just did, you know this girl, you know this girl from Genesis, you know this girl from Revelation, you know this girl. She's my wife's sister. I'm telling you, I know her. She's see, not like that, my girl. See, let me tell you something. Eh? Calm down. You don't know women, or you don't know them all. Uh -uh. See, I'll tell you. So there are certain things about this girl you might not know. Mm -hmm. See, eh? just relax. Anyway, see, let's just forget about this girl. Right? No, tell me more now. Women enthusiast. Tell me. <laughs> Tell me more. See, guy, I, 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 my, my right hand, you know, I got to you. I agree, I agree. Tell me like that now. I just go here, relax. Uncle. Ah, Naya? You're still around? Yes, I am. Good evening. How are you? I was just wondering whether my nose was deceiving because I know I was perceiving something. Because I know it's only Naya that can be responsible for this. Aroma, that I'm perceiving. Oh, eh? cool. I'm serious now. Oh, um, should I bring your food or do you want to shower? Hello, first? please. I'm very hungry. Bring the food. I want to eat. No, 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 no. Okay, let me uh, bring it. Thank you. Ah. 
I was say I'm wondering. Abi? Abi, Juliet, don't they cook? <laughs> Juliet, cook. Neyeo, hurry up. I'm hungry, please. Uh -huh. I made your food. No, 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 please bring it here, bring it here, wait here. I don't want to go out with it. Bring it, bring it, bring it. Give me. I'm just going to eat it. Yeah. Uh, there's no side Oops, don't worry. I'm just going to uh, eat it here. Uh, ah. Why are you standing now? Bring spoon now, come on, eat with me. <laughs> no, thank you. You know what it is? Yeah, sit down now. Oh yeah, come and eat. Come and eat, my friend. Come and eat, too much. Oh, sister. Don't come. Hey, how are you? Hey, baby. Oh, come here. Come here. Mm. <laughs> you couldn't even wait for me to return before eating. Ah, you know your ways now. You can decide to come back by 10 o'clock. But I told you I'll be coming back today early. Hmm. Mm. Must have forgot to know. No, I'm sure they ate enough now. You can go and check the pot and just for yourself. Anyways, I'm not as dirty as you are. So I'll have to go upstairs, <laughs> freshen up and join you. I'm not serious. I'm serious. Mm -hmm. Baby, didn't tell me that you had moved in from the hostel now. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. The decision came in a rush. And I was about leaving for work. But I don't think you would have any problem with it? No, not at all. I don't have a problem. It's just that when I came back from work, I didn't expect to see her. So I was surprised when I saw her. That's why I'm asking. Okay. Mm. I'll join you. Uh, I'm good. Huh? Oh, no. Come on, come on. I need to. Come here. Please. Please. Let me freshen up. Now, nah, nah, wow, what kind of person did this? Nice now. What do you mean not this night now? Can't I touch you again? We want to sleep. I want to sleep, please. Look, babe, see, just, just stop this. I, can't, I don't, I don't, I don't need this this night. Oh yeah, please. <laughs> oh, stop. What, what is this, man? I need a break. What do you mean you need a break, babe? Please see. Not this night, I beg. Not this night, please. Yes. Not this night. Yes. Not this night. What exactly is your use in my life? Hmm? Just, no, tell me. What exactly are you doing for me in my life? Are you seriously asking me that? Yes! Because I don't understand you anymore. You don't cook for me. You don't do the laundry. You don't even let me touch you. What exactly are we doing in this marriage? Are we roommates or what? Baby, we will be too loud. Don't forget there's a child in this house. Ah, I'm being too loud, Abby. Okay. I think it's high time I report you to your mother. You, you will do what? I think I'm, I'm going to call her right now and report you. Then what would you tell her? I'm going to tell her how you've been torturing somebody's son in this house. Every time you... Why am I talking? Why are you being too dramatic? I'm being too dramatic, Abby. Wait, you'll see drama. Let me call your mother first. Okay, okay. I won't sit here and watch you misbehave. I'm leaving. Babe, are you serious? Babe, I'm, I'm calling your... Uh, babe, 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 wait. Babe, I'm, so, I'm sorry now, babe. I'm leaving. Babe. Hey! I don't mind. Oh, oh, this one now. Just can't make you go my like this. Babe, hurry up, we are late. I'm already here. Okay. 
I'll just fix my shoes. You're not so. fully dressed. Sorry. I woke up very late today. I had babes, I wanted to tell you something. What was that? Hmm? Don't you think you need boosters? Bo booster? For what? To boost your sexual libido, of course. Really? If I boost my sexual libido, how do I now manage the mission that comes? I don't understand. What do you mean, how do you manage? Don't you have husband? I bet, I bet, I bet. That's not the kind of life I want for myself right now. Babes, it seems you don't really understand this concept of marriage. Oh. You don't. <laughs> she that is not married, you're not the one educating me about the concept of marriage. Juliet, I don't need to be married to understand my husband's sexual needs. I don't need to. Okay. Come on. Lecturer, educate me more. This is not a joke. <laughs> like seriously. I wish your husband did call your mom as he threatened you. <laughs> don't give me for granted, honestly. He knows he can't even threaten me with that. Look, let me tell you. You're taking that guy for granted. Mm -hmm. And you need to stop. Thank you. So, um, educate me more about this boosters. Mm -hmm. Okay. There is this natural boosters I use, and it works very well. Really? Yes. It is called Goruntula and Dates. Yes. Goruntula? Mm -hmm. Well, I actually know I can get dates on the street. But this is your Gorun, Gorun what? Gorun, Gorun, Tula. Gorun Tula. Don't uh, worry, I'll help you get it. But let me ask you, who do you use this Gorun Tula for? This <laughs> booster, who do you use it for? <laughs> See me, Christian. I don't get Baba again. I don't understand. Again. Since when? Mm. Okay. <laughs> actually, you need to be very, very careful. So you won't get pregnant. <laughs> it only makes it to be Hurry up, let's go. Hurry up, let's go. Happy birthday to me, guys! <laughs> I'm plus one today. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to me. Happy birthday, Naya. Oh, Uncle. Good morning, sir. Good morning, how are you? Fine. I didn't know today was your birthday. It is, though. Well, happy birthday. I wish you more life and prosperity. And a very handsome and Loving man like you. <laughs> well, thank you. I'm flattered. Uh, no, I mean it too. I want to marry somebody like you when I'm older. Uh, thank you. It means a lot to me. Oh, um, what are you going to give me for my birthday? Well, you know what? I am actually going to call my office right now and take the day off, so I can take you out and buy you whatever you want. <laughs> All right, so just go get dressed and okay. uh, I'll make the call. Happy birthday, okay? Thank you, Uncle. <laughs> Yes, Mary, please um, reschedule all my appointments for today. I won't be coming into the office. All right, then. Oh. All right, then, there. Yeah. See you. Oh. Yes? You're welcome, I'm glad you had fun today. You did, Abby? Alright, 
under it. What is it? Nah. 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 Nah, you're weak now. Nah. Nah, please open the door. Nah, now. Nah, please, I just want to talk. Nah. I'm suspecting you these days. On what? You've been closing early these days. I don't understand. You don't understand what? Because all the while I've known you, you've always closed late. All because you want to skive off wife duty. <laughs> How this girl, you're not serious. Honestly. I'm not serious. See, the reason I close early these days is because it's 20 season. Nothing else. All this while you've been keeping me at the office. To close late. Eh, Juliet, because you don't want to perform your wife's duty. Pray. I'm a married woman. Not a slave to anybody. Mm -hmm. Yes. This is how I enjoy my marriage. I close whenever it is that I want to close. Huh? Repentance is calling you. What repentance? <laughs> You're just not serious. You need to change. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, let's drive on, Joe. Seat belt. <laughs> seat belt. Fire. Yeah. It's just so fun. I've never seen a married man that is always scared of performing the wife duties at home. They it's send only you. Juliet. 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 They send you. All of a sudden, you begin to go home early. Naya, I understand everything that you must be feeling right now. But I also need you to understand that you're too young for this. You need to focus on your studies right now, okay? So, if I focus on my studies, will you love me and kiss me? Naya, you're my wife's sister. It's not right. But I'm the only one who takes care of you. I know, and I appreciate everything that you've been doing for me. It's actually one of the things that makes you very special to me. But it's not right. Okay? And I was... I think your sister is back. I hope she's here to do all the work because hey, don't have yeah. much. Let me go open the door for your sister. I was gonna come back and surprise you. Yeah, I didn't go to work today. Why? Naya hasn't been feeling too well. Oh my god, what's wrong with her? I don't know, she's in the room. I'll check her out. Oh, please.
So, honey, what have you had to eat? Nothing. Um, that means we have to go to the restaurant to get something to eat. Since then, is not fit to cook. Are you listening to yourself? Angela? You're not even ashamed of yourself. So if Naya cannot cook, it means we're not going to eat in this house. Abi? Mister, I'm tired. I like, I just got back from work. I need to rest. I'm only being generous here. You know I can actually go on snacks and be fine. Hey, then why are you asking me what I'm going to eat? Eh? Calm down. Say no, 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 no. Why are you asking me what I'm going to eat? So you want me to eat snacks now, Abi? So if you, if you can go on snacks, then I don't see why you're asking me. Just leave me alone and do what you want to do. I can take care of myself. You imagine I'm not saying I should come and eat snacks. Guy, the hike of prices are so crazy that I couldn't even believe my ears when I heard the woman talk about how much she spent to run a family of two. So I was actually, you know, wondering how much it would cost, you know, a family of more to survive. Kai, don't tell me I've been speaking to myself. What's well, up with you now? You've been moody since we got here. What's up now, Kai? Now, what's in now? Well, I know Vex, I this marriage to you, and I swear to God, you don't tire me. I'm tired. Wow. <laughs> this one, a depression, no? Oh, God, I swear to God, I'm tired. But I thought you guys are cool. So okay. what's the problem now? I want not cool anything. I just decided to give her space. But I swear, Juliet is and see, she's pissing me off. She vexes. Hey, see, hold on. Come to think of it, don't you think it's a time like high time you guys consult a specialist at least because I, I, I believe there could be an underlying, you know, problem, you know, causing this breach. Oh, you see, guys, forget that one. I can promise you that there is no problem at all. I just don't understand what Julia's problem is. And she should continue. Because by the time she realizes what she has done, that will be gone. Because I'm tired. Can you just calm down? Hmm? See, would you want me to speak to her? Why well, don't stress yourself, out, babe? Then talk to her mom. And tell her what? I can't be dragging my mother in law into my marital issues now. It doesn't make any sense. See. You need help, right? See, you need help and look at you. I know you. You can't even cheat on your wife. So what do you think you should do? I'm afraid I don't know. I think I don't know. Man, see how you don't they wish they begin to drink like this, this guy. Yeah, see, I think just free. I just end up with depression and don't they push you to turn into a drunker like this, so. Hmm? Mm. This drink is, is hard and you are gulping it down like this. It's in the worry, this one. Okay, don't turn drunk like this, oh. My friend, I don't tell you, I beg, no could you go out. Sorry, it was just a dream now, eh? Jesus Christ. That was just a dream. I was scared. It's okay, eh? It's okay, it's okay. You can go back to sleep now. It's fine. No, I, I don't want to go to sleep. I'm scared. Okay, Sorry. we can join us to our room. No, I don't want to disturb you guys. Well, you just said you can't sleep alone. I can, I can stay with Uncle. Yeah. You'll be able to protect me. <laughs> protect it from what? Protect me from the people that want to take me away. <laughs> sorry, sorry. You're just so funny. Okay. Well, I'll have to go back to sleep. I have um, a meeting by 8 in the office. <sighs> Alright, it's fine. I'll take you over. Make sure you don't <laughs> disturb my husband. Okay, good night. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. 
you scared me. Scared me, please. Are you in? I'm not going anywhere. I just placed an order for that libido boost I told you about. Oh, you did? Yes, I did. I told you now. You're serious? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> At least in two weeks' time, your story about sex will change. Ah, does it work that fast? Yes, it works like magic. Mm, but just that, I can't take them now. Why? Yes, because my ovulation is around the corner. I don't want to take any risk. What happens to protection? Look, the whole idea is to spark your marriage, nothing else, to spark your sex life. I don't want to take the risk. I rather leave it to you after my revolution. <laughs> okay, whatever way. I'm fine. <laughs> so let's go. <laughs> <sighs> What's that? Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Yes, Naya, good morning. How was your night? Are you angry at me? No. No, I'm not angry with you. It's just that you usually see me before leaving for work and you didn't ask me for breakfast. Well, I'm not hungry this morning. That's why. No, good thing. Now you are angry at me. No, no, it's not like that. Look, I'm not angry with you, okay? Last night, you've been sad and I thought we had a moment. That's why I give myself to you. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. It's okay. I don't have to cry, okay? You have to eat before leaving. You know, these are the things you do that make you very special to me. Hmm? Okay. I'll eat something. Okay? I'm gonna get my food. Hmm. This food tastes nice. Yeah. No, I'll show you the reason why you're so relaxed. It doesn't really taste like a food little girl prepared. Okay, um, I didn't tell you. This is a special skill for my grandma's lineage. But how come you didn't? Please. Before you insult yourself, let me remind you that not everyone inhales genetic skills. Anyway, congratulations to her. Mm. She will be a great asset to her husband. And trust me, she will be so adored. I just pray she ends up with a good man. Sure. I mean, this girl is... <laughs> she's something else. Babe, I need to take home of this. This would really make me <laughs> weekend. Yes, my dear, I would. Ask Naya to do something about it. That reminds me. Did you say she does her laundry, including your husband's clothes? She's my sister, so I don't see anything wrong in her. Happy with my husband's laundry. Laundry, yes. On this, no way. Brie, you always make issues out of everything. Huh. I'm very sure you won't have a thought about in your home. Not the one that washed my husband on this, okay?
No way off or no? I did, I did, Jerry. Where you did so? Yeah, okay, okay, that's good. No, but there is a more rich lounge this evening now. Hmm. Oh, you, okay. Oh, yeah, I know I'll be waiting for you. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I know. Safe. Baby girl, I spent the entire day in your house, so I should be on my way home. Thanks for coming. Yours is to say thanks for coming, but you will never return the visit. Oh, really? Okay then, I'll follow you to your house, then we'll spend time. Quality time. Really? <laughs> so all this challenge here. Yeah. my rest. <laughs> so just wait here, let me get my cross. Okay, I'll, I'll wait for your side. I'm okay. coming. Just sit, sit That's down. Don't be waiting though. I won't. Yes, you're saying you Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> no. And how have you been focusing on your studies? Mm, yep. Which one is um, how about the project that you told me about? Were you able to start it out? Yes, I was able to. Mm. It's just that um I've just been trying to focus. Okay. Because yes. Because the boys uh Boys. Trying to distract me, yeah, all of them. Oh, boys are trying. So. Send me their addresses. No, it's I will fine. go and find them one Don't after worry. the other. Don't worry, it's not a big deal. None of them are entering my eyes. Are you sure? You're sure there's not one that is entering your eyes? Nay. No, yeah. Well, except one. Who is he? You. <laughs> no, yeah. You know we spoke about this thing before now. Huh? Spoke about what? Oh, yeah, you're too young for these things. Okay? You need to focus on your studies. Wait, uh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Stop it. <sighs> Naya, stop it. What are you it's doing? Chill. What's wrong with you now? Stop it. Stop, mm -hmm. stop yeah. it. Your sister. Look, no, your sister will come. Don't do it. Calm down. I said, stop. Put your clothes back on, please. Mm -hmm. Stop. Put your clothes back on. Your sister will come inside. She's, She's not here. She will come back. Put your clothes back on. Come down. Come down. Wait, wait. Just don't be quiet. You don't. Wait. This is it. You're sleeping. Yes, I'm very tired. I understand. Okay, have some rest, okay? I just wanted to tell you that I'm going out with my friend. If my husband returns, please tell him something to eat. Okay. Take care of yourself. <laughs> Welcome. I hope you had fun. Yeah. <clears throat> that girl is a lot of vibe herself. Oh, okay. <laughs> I practically drag myself out from. Mm. Well, have fun. I'm so excited. <laughs> so how do you do? Do you care? 
What's the problem? Are you okay? Don't blame your Stop. <laughs> Babe, what's this? Can what? you stop? Why are you acting like you care? Huh? If I tell you what my problem is now, you're going to fix it for me. Please, leave me alone. Excuse me. Be It's this dirty. Do you not sleep out? Williams! I 
I'm talking to you. What is, what is it now? What is it? When did you return? From what? The airman just said me I'll be waiting. What is this? Come, did you wake me up from sleep to ask me this? I don't understand. Why would you sleep out without telling me? <laughs> and where did you spend the night? Come, Juliet, are you daft or something? I slept out. But yet here I am, in my bedroom. Answering the stupid questions you're asking me, I don't understand. Could you just ask if I'm daft? Do you know I sat up all night waiting for you to return? And why would you take Chinaya out without my permission? Oh. Oh, okay, okay. The outing that you went for, whose permission did you take? I had to take your revenge by taking my own sister out. No, please, Julia, just spare me all this talk. Nobody's revenged anything. I wanted to go out and chill. She wanted to come along. Or is it not a crime to take your sister out? At night and into the night is wrong! No, do you know what is wrong? What is wrong is that you're so good at pointing out other people's faults, but you don't see that you're all shades of wrong yourself. And you're waking me up by what time? For this nonsense? Look, please, I need to sleep. I don't have time for this. Everything <laughs> is getting cold towards me by the day. The sensible attitude is killing me. <sighs> Maybe you should take some days off and try to make peace with your husband. My leave is just around the corner. I think I should just work with the little time I have at hand. Pardon me, I don't. That means we're not going to this part together as planned. No, I have to make lunch for my husband. I'm so sorry. No, that's okay. I should get my way home then. Take care of yourself, okay? Thank you. I don't know how to do a play. Guys, food is ready. Yeah, hey, I'm not hungry. Let me show you how to do it. You know what? What did you cook? Why don't I come downstairs and find out? Right, come now, yeah, let's go. We're coming. Um, I'll dry you. Let me use the restroom. Alright, we're waiting. What is it? Babe, what is this? Juliet, I don't understand this food. What did you cook? What's funny? Please, please, the food you made for breakfast. Is it still remaining? Can you eat it? I said it's already. You did what? Did you cook the food? Huh? William, what is this? What exactly is your problem, Juliet? 
You don't know how to do anything. I mean, look at the nonsense you cooked and served me. And then the only good food we have in this house, you take and I give it to your friend. Meaning what? Then what is wrong with this meal? What is this? What's wrong with this meal? Huh? Just have it. Julia, don't piss me off. Don't piss me off. Well, I'm fine. I can't take this from you. Like, do you do the effort that I put in to make this this delicious meal for you? What effort did you put in to make this rubbish? This is nothing that he asked you to cook for me. See, if this is the nonsense you want to be cooking and serving me, I don't need you to cook for me. Do you understand, Juliet? Well, what, what is wrong with this? Babe! Please, what did I do? You've been so mad at me lately. You don't know. Mm -mm, I don't know. Tell me. Okay. No, there's no problem now. I'm not mad at you. I'm good. Mm -mm. You haven't been eating my food. And you always get angry with me as every slightest provocation. Look, Juliet, please. I'm not in the mood for all this. Okay, let's just go to bed. Please. Mm -mm. Juliet, look, okay. I've heard you. Okay, I've heard you. You've heard what? I've heard your apology now, and I forgive you. Can we go to bed now? Please. You've not even said anything. You've not even told me what I did wrong. I just told you that we're good. And you're still trying to drag the matter. What exactly is your problem now? I'm sorry. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Please leave me a bit. I'm it. Baby, please. Please, now. I want to take off my shirts now. Ah! Yeah, I want to shower, so. Hey, I'm coming to shower. What if she sees the call? We, we agreed not to leave any trace for her to notice. Uh-uh, I'm not calling. Leave, I'm ready for you. You ready for who? Well, I'm a big shift. Ah. Stop now. Stop being like that. Stop now. Tomorrow is Monday. Stop, Juliet. Because I'm not in the mood for this. Okay. Leave me alone now. What? Are you, are you trying to rape me or what? Please, I want to sleep. Ah. Dear. William 
person's attitude towards me has completely changed. And this is unlike him. Really? Yes. William that cannot even resist me said to me in my face, Madam, go and sleep. Me. <laughs> because I was trying to get his attention. Imagine. This is serious, so. And that makes me wonder if he's getting it somewhere. Yes. Juliet. Yes. I need to say this to you. What? That cousin of yours is a side chick in your room for your husband. What do you mean? Their closeness is not just ordinary. It's just that you are dumb and blind not to see the affair those two are having. You know, those two have this, this weird closeness that makes them do things that I don't even understand. And where are you coming from? My usual. Doing what? I don't understand. What sort of question is that one? Huh? Babe, you frequent that girl's room and spend the entire time there. Uh -huh. I'm not comfortable with it. Even during the week, whenever you return from work and have a change of clothes, you're in her room. I'm not comfortable with this whole thing. Come, did they send you to me or what? Huh? Because I don't understand this. Every single day you go to work, you come back, you're too tired to do anything. You don't cook, you don't talk to me, you don't let me touch you, nothing. And then now the one person that gives me happiness, you're telling me you're uncomfortable. I want to wait. Come, see. They sent you to me, tell them you didn't see me up because I don't have time for all this nonsense you're doing. I'm just not comfortable with it. That's your problem. Can you imagine what nonsense? I'm your wife. I'm supposed to be the one you're spending time with. So I won't be wrong to say you're wearing a side chicken for your husband, unconsciously. I will be on my way home. Don't worry, I'll get a cab. Maya? Maya, how are you now? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, what is the problem now? I'm talking to you. Oh, yeah, what is it now? You don't want to talk to me. I don't like the way you've been avoiding me. I haven't been avoiding you, Naya. Yes, you have. You've been spending so much time with her and... Naya, she's my wife. What you want me to do? Huh? But I love you. Naya, and I love you too. Okay? But not in the same way that you love me. You're my wife's sister. It's not right. Okay? Yeah, yeah no, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, okay? See you in the time. Yeah, stupid now. What is wrong with me? Juliet. 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 
Juliet. Babe. Like that. Who is that? I'm coming. Ah. Who is that? Ah. I'm a good morning, ma. Where is that dirty thing that wants to destroy my daughter? My, my, my daughter's home. I'm a good morning. Good morning. <laughs> you don't have a conscience. Yes, you don't have a conscience, William. You look me in the eye and you're telling me good morning. Who raised you? I never knew you're such a, a disgusting entity sleeping with your wife's cousin. Ah, mama, mama, please, please, please. I don't know what Juliet told you. I did not sleep. I don't have anything to do now, yeah? Mama, please. That's what you say. Anyway, where's my daughter? I mean my daughter, Juliet. Where is she? She just left. She left? To where? I don't know. She just packed her things and left. Packed her things and you let her, let her go? Oh. Just like that? Eh? Mama, what do you want me to do? Hey! <laughs> anyway, I hope that dog not, is not in this house. <laughs> Mama, I don't have dog in the house. Let me even call my daughter. <laughs> just ring it. She's not. It's funny. I hope she's that stupid girl is not in this house. Eh? It's okay. Sit down. Yeah. <laughs> Stop crying, okay? I know this is not good, but you just have to put yourself together. What did I do wrong? Why, why would William do this to me? He would have gone for other people. Why my own cousin? I know this is bad. But you just have to put yourself together, okay? <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> It's okay. <laughs> Julie, it's okay. You can't keep crying. Why would I do this to me? What did I do? How did I go wrong? It's okay, Julie. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I think I should take the day off to be with you. Hmm? It's okay. It's okay, Juliet. What did I tell you? Please. I said leave my daughter's house. You don't have anywhere to go. You will see where you go now. Leave now. Mama, now, please. If I slap you, I said leave. Mama, stop this thing now. This girl didn't do anything. Please, just She stop. didn't do anything. Mama, stop now. I should stop. I should stop. Look at your mouth like I should stop. If I slap you, eh, your brain will reset. Mama, Get please, mama, 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 please now. Please. This girl didn't do anything. Oh, take your Mercy, Please now.
Your mom has been calling. Don't you want to take the call? I don't want to talk to her. Why? Did she offend you? I said I don't want to talk to her. But she'll be worried about you. Hmm? Talk to her. Do you know when I told my mom what Williams was doing? She blamed me. But that My mom blamed me for... Everything. <laughs> no, well, that's not enough reason for you not to take her cause. Just talk to her. Talking to her would, would be adding more salt to my injury. This is not right. Hello, Ma. Where are you for God's sake? Eh? This is not Julia. This is our friend Priya. She's in my house, Ma. What is she doing at your place? Uh, ma, um... Please, please, give her the phone. Let me talk to her. Juliet, have it. But I said I don't want to talk to her. You know you're a very stupid girl. You're very, very stupid. So you saw my call. You ignored it. Right? <laughs> Mom, please, I need a moment of peace. I can't talk to you now, please. I'm at your husband's place. I want to see you now. What are you doing there? What am I doing there? What did I tell you? Didn't I tell you not to do anything until I come? Who did you leave your house for? The year of yesterday. Abby? <gasps> Mom, please, please, please. Enough. Hello? Hello? Juliet? <laughs> Hey. What do I do about this now? This is a taboo. I cannot even mention it in front of the family. My late sister's daughter is also my daughter. How do I resolve this? Huh? Why me? Why this kind of problem? Hey. Well, I will remain here until they all come back and are ready for us to dialogue. We will settle this without even calling a family meeting. I'll be here. Uh -uh. Mama, you're still here. William, sit down. You're asking me if I'm still here. I am not going anywhere until we all come together and sit to discuss this as a family. See, Mama, honestly, with all due respect, there's nothing left for us to discuss because I am tired. Mama Julia doesn't do anything for me in this house. She doesn't cook. She doesn't do the laundry. She doesn't even let me touch her. And at this point, I am... Look, Mama, I'm done. I'm tired. Please. There's nothing for us to discuss. So all these problems have been going on. I didn't call me to tell me. Mama, how can I tell you now? I can't be dragging you into my marital issues. It doesn't make any sense. 
Mama, I've been trying, look, I've tried everything I could do to get through to Julia, but nothing is working. And at this point, I am tired. Look, in fact, Mama, honestly, at, at this point, I just want a divorce. God forbid, that will never happen. Because that's a taboo. I will never allow such a shameless abomination to happen. Are you sure it's not because of that Nenye girl that you want a divorce? Hey, mama, 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 please. Please, leave Nenye out of this. I have said this thing before. I and Nenye do not have anything to do together. Uh, so please leave Nenye out of this. Uh, where is that Nenye girl, sir? Where is she? She's at the hotel. I actually just came to get a few things for her. Uh -huh. Hey, <laughs> William. Uh -huh. But you did not do well. You did not do well at all. William. Look, Mama, please. I'm, mm. Mama, I'm tired. Mm. Okay? I have things to do. Excuse me. Mm. Babe, are you sure you're mentally strong to resume work today? I can still cover up for you, no? I'm fine. You know, I feel disheartened whenever I'm alone. Have you called your mom to know if she's home? Pray, I want to go to work today with my sanity intact. But remember she said she's not leaving anywhere until you return back. Then she can stay there for all I care. She can stay for as long as she wants. I'm not going back to that house. Come to think of it. Are you going to leave your home, your husband, everything you've built in the years for your little cousin? She don't have it all to herself. Yes. Remember you caused this. Remember I warned you. You contributed to the pain you're passing through right now. Well, that is in the past. All I will say is find the space in your heart to forgive your husband and move back with him. The people you're asking me to forgive are not even remorseful. And the so-called husband doesn't even see any reason to come for me. Oh, you want me to just go back to him like that? God forbid, I won't do that. If I must go back to that house, he should be with the one on his feet, begging me to go back. It's okay, it's okay. I don't want to talk about this again, okay? Take time and heal. I'm fine. This is getting so tight on me. Mama, please. I am so sorry for everything I did and for the way I spoke to you. I take back everything I said. I'm not going to divorce your daughter, I mean. Mama, I take back everything, please. I am sorry. Please. It's okay. I'm, I'm just so very sad that I wasn't made aware of all these things. Why didn't you just let me know? Mama, I didn't want to drag you into this now. Please, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. It's okay. Thank you, Ma. Thank you. Thank you, Mama. It's okay. Thank you. Thank you, Ma. Williams, what is it? Are you okay? You sounded as though the world was crashing on your head. Bro, I am not good. At this point, my brain won't. I don't even know what to do again. Williams, relax. Talk to me. I am your guy. What is going on? Guy, now, Juliet. Juliet went to go and tell my mother-in-law that I and Nye are having something to do together. And I swear to God who created me, Freddy, I don't have anything to do with Nye at all. And now the problem is that my mother-in-law now believes what she said. I have tried to explain this to her. I have begged her. Guy, I don't know what to do. Williams. Williams, you know I'm your guy, right? Williams, I want to ask you a question and I want you to answer with all sincerity. Are you having anything with Naya Williams? Well, which kind of question you ask me like this now? You know me now. I can't have anything to do with her. I told you she's my wife's sister. 
Then why are you panicking if you don't have anything doing with her? See, I'll suggest you go to your wife. Go and speak to your wife. Tell her everything. She's your wife for crying out loud. I think that's the best solution right now. Go to your wife. Okay, I don't even know what to tell her. The mother ain't always that. See, Freddy, I don't tire. Honestly, I'm tired. You trust me, right, as your friend? Then you should listen to my advice. Go to your wife. Speak to her because she is your wife. That's the best thing to do right now. If you want to curtail this thing before it gets out of hand, Williams, go to your wife. Could it be true that my daughter truly took all her things and left? <sighs> then what am I doing here? My daughter is not here. The husband has abandoned his house for me too. Eh? <sighs> what kind of thing is this? Hello? Pray, pray, please, wait. Pray, please, I need to talk to Juliet. Is she with you? I've been trying her line now. She's not been picking my calls. Please, I need to talk to her. It's important. My, my place, she, she just left. Okay, thank you very much. You actually think I'll kill myself because of your marital failures. Mom, mm. so this is just a prank. Sit. Mom, we don't do things like this. You don't. No. It's a threat, which I know that you will take seriously. And now that I know that you love me so much, my mind is at rest. Because I know that I can tell you to do anything and you will do it. Not because I'm your mother, but because you love me so much as your beloved mother. Mom, mom, you don't do things like this. You don't make demands that. Look, you call your friend and tell her to bring all your stuff. You're not going back there. In fact, you're not even going anywhere. Your husband reported you to me. He said you don't cook, you don't clean, and you even starve him. Where did you get that from? Hmm? Juliet? Are you listening to me? I came here to say that I'm really sorry for everything I did to you and for the harm that I've caused your family. Please forgive me. Please. It's okay. It's okay. You're going to fix your home, all right? And clean up whatever mess you both have made here. Are you clear? I'm talking to you. I also want to use this opportunity to tell everyone that I'll be packing my things and I'll be returning to the hostel.
I was like, I can't believe I was thinking of getting a divorce. <laughs> right now, I can't wait for our anniversary. So we can renew our vows. <laughs> and this time, we'll be just you and me. Forever. I love you, baby. Love you too. Thank <laughs> you.